Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Long Mountain Public Media. We have a full moon Tuesday, April 26th, and with the weather getting better and spring settling in, it'll be great to take some evening walks under this. All right, jumping to our drought conditions, I don't have much to report this time because going from last week to this week, there really is no perceptible change in the data. So I'm not sure if that means measurements haven't been taken or if just things are under snow and like that. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. The same is pretty true nationally, except there is some worsening of the drought up in the northern extreme northern plains and a little lessening of the drought around the Great Lakes, but not much seems to change in the west. Looking at the rainfall we did get, there is some beneficial moisture that came down over the last seven days. You can see the light greens here, about a half inch to uh, one inch in the darker greens. Little trace amounts over on the western slopes and a nice little uh, dampening out in the northeast. So that's good. We'll just keep it, it coming. All right, well, looking forward now, uh, by Thursday morning, we have a trough coming into the west. We'll look at it in just a second. We have a bit of a front uh, draped over the area and some precipitation, some upslope precipitation on the plains in northeast. Just light stuff uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, nothing like we had earlier in the week. What we have in the upper levels is pretty complex. We have little shortwave troughs embedded in this overall western trough as our big ridge to our east. And that just kind of keeps us cool and unsettled showers able to have on in just about any time. With that and the fact that spring is coming, I'm bringing back the uh, severe, I'm oh, sorry, this, the Storm Prediction Center's graphic on where thunderstorms and severe weather are possible and we do have for Thursday uh, or Thursday itself a possibility of some convection you might hear some thunder from Fort Collins South this should say Friday sorry about that but we have most of the state now able to have some thunderstorms with whatever uh, forms down in the south Texas and Oklahoma, they're starting to see the return of a slight and marginal chance of severe weather with hail, tornadoes, and the like. Looking at the Big Ten day, our temperatures are warm enough this week that my high temperature uh, line is not off the top of the chart. We rise in the normals from 63 to 66. That's a big jump. And nighttime temperatures from 35 to 37. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we have that troughiness in the west, and we have an abrupt dry out and warm up for the weekend. It's going to be fantastic. And then next week, pretty normal temperatures, pretty warm temperatures, and some rain showers possible Tuesday and then Thursday into Friday. Will this be the last of our snow? No, we've had snow all the way into the first week of June, so that's always possible. So looking at Sunday and why we do get that big warm up and dry out period. We get the uh, trough replaced by this big ridge over most of the nation with the trough on the east coast and west coast. So let's put this into motion and take a look at the next 10 days. Going from Thursday into Friday, you see trough after trough passing. And then Friday into Saturday, this ridge begins to move. Everything starts to shift. Then to Sunday, big ridge again. There's our trough uh, uh, coming in for the beginning of next week. And by Tuesday, we have a trough again, but just higher heights, so warmer temperatures. You can see later in the week, a big ridge pushes in. So expect some real warm up next week as well. Okay, looking at temperatures, there's our giant cold front hitting the Gulf Coast and spreading off into the Gulf and Atlantic. We have warmth out in the west. A little shot of cold air coming down and then pushing off for Saturday into Sunday as the heat builds at normally warm temperatures. And then into Monday, Tuesday next week, you can see a cold front tries to make its way in. It's not that noticeable. It's not going to be a super cold shot of air at all. And there's the late week heat next week. 
looking at the precipitation, nothing big shows up. You can see this little period of upslope right here, and Thursday and then Friday there's showers mainly in the central mountains, and into Saturday mornings a little more showeriness before they head out, going into Sunday high and dry, and then Monday into Tuesday, here comes our next little system. Looks like it's getting the western slopes, the southeast corner of the state, before becoming a big line of thunderstorms way out in the plains. And then later in the week, a little more storminess in the west. So, no big headline news. I've been a lot of stock on something on May 1st there, but we'll see. So, over the next two days, for Wednesday into Wednesday night into Friday, we maybe get a coating to maybe an inch of snow, a little bit more around Boulder and Denver, a little bit in the foothills. It's not a lot. For precipitation, we get a, a trace to a quarter of an inch worth of moisture. Over the next 10 days, so much, edit these slides. Uh, we have a coating uh, to maybe an inch. We just don't pick up much more because of the temperatures. But precipitation is looking pretty good. We got a quarter to a half inch of moisture with one to two inch amounts in the northern mountains and stretching down on the western slope. So great moisture for parts of the state that need it. We could still take a lot more moisture down the Four Corners area and out in the southeast plains, but eventually. So over the next week we start cold on Wednesday, then morning snow showers on Thursday. We have our chance of uh, thunderstorms from Thursday night into Friday. We dry out and warm up significantly on the weekend, into Monday, and then we start to see that next system move in on Tuesday. So for frequent weather updates, I do updates whenever they're needed. Check out longmontleader.com and you get more local Longmont news as well. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.